I want to also ask you about um, the situation with the Uyghurs, because we hear devastating reports of what has happened with, with the people there. And um, tell the world um, why China feels threatened by this Muslim minority who have been um, imprisoned, tortured, um, you know, slaughtered in, in large numbers, according to reliable human rights activists. The fact is, the people there, I know you are referring to Xinjiang. The people in Xinjiang, all the ethnic group people, no matter what ethnic group they belong, the people that were threatened by rising terrorist and extremist activities. In recent years, until quite recently, there were hundreds, even thousands of such terrorist attacks in Xinjiang and hundreds of thousands of innocent people were hurt or even killed. So the people that were really threatened, we have to take measures to stop the spread and the threat of terrorist activities. Some of these groups are linked to ISIS and they, all, they were also trying to spread extremist ideas. So people's safety and security were really threatened. Then thanks to the measures that have been taken over the last few years, for the last three years and more, there has been no such cases of terrorist attacks in Xinjiang. So people are living in a much safer environment and people can really enjoy good life there. This is happening to all the people there without any distinction between the ethnic groups. According to the United Nations, more than 2 million people there, Ambassador, are held in detention camps. Um, no, this is not a United Nations figure. This figure is fabricated by somebody else, certainly not the United Nations. It's very clear. We have invited, over the last years, we have invited UN officials, foreign diplomats, journalists, many of them from Muslim countries, and none of them supported such claims. So you are saying there are not millions of people in detention camps? There are no such a thing. I was there last year, April last year. I had a personal visit there. I even visited one of these training centers, met people, talked to people there, the Uyghur people. I even met a, a young Uyghur couple who opened a restaurant in one of these training centers and making good money. Well, obviously we'll have to do, do more uh, do more work on that, but I know that this is a, a almost universally held criticism of China, and it's something that the world really needs to to have more answers to. Um, well, Madam, with all due respect, I very often hear people in this country say this is something universal, but when they say universal, it's mainly maybe United States, a couple of European countries. If you talk about anything universal, you have to consider China itself has 20% of a global population. If you're counting countries like India, Africa, Latin American countries, the majority of the global population is very often not included in this universality. 